Jason Faulkner. It's pretty cold in East Tennessee today. I think the high is going to be 40. I just wanted to show uh, a view of a guy with a big shop, how, how it gets messy pretty quick, especially when you're working. Tools get scattered. Everything gets orga disorganized. Everything gets dirty and misplaced. So, uh, I've just, you know, had a moment to to try to reconfigure some of my cleanliness and put some of the stuff back together. It's my failed attempt at my angle grinder drive from my nut husker. Now that my uh, diamond Dremel bits came in, I think I can salvage my Sawzall motor. It's like new on the inside. It just has a failed brush housing. The, uh, the brass spring they used to attach the power wire to the, uh, to the armature melted for some reason, whatever reason, who knows why. Maybe it was just fate. Maybe it was just meant to happen, so... I don't feel defeated on it. I, I had, you know, I was very satisfied with the quality and performance that thing there was achieving for me. I had a, or I have a perfect flail head, as shoddy as it looks and unrefined. I'm satisfied with the performance and safety that this was given me. So I think I'll reapproach this. And if I can salvage that and, and fix the issue of it burning the brush contact and dirty in the, uh, the brass contact surface of the armature by uh, using some silver wire. I have some remnants of some high quality silver wire that I can wrap around that that contact and maybe stop that issue from it fouling the uh, contact surface you know then I'll be set to to finish uh, removing the husk off my black walnut pile so I can finish feeding the birds throughout the year Hopefully. It just dirties my hands when I tear the, the, the holes apart. And some of them are so tough I can't even do it. You know, i got to use something else to to tear that, tear the holes off the black walnut. So I can... Break them for bird feed. Let me find a good surface here. The upside to this, I have a good tool at my disposal for helping me clean up. That's my uh, shop weasel shopping bag holder. Yeah. You know, it makes cleaning up these big mess easy, you know. It's just so convenient. I have all these aluminum remnants of, of using my Dremel collet. That pack. There's a piece of a uh, thin copper plate that I might find some use for later, but it really saves time and it's convenient to use. You know, it's so pleasurable to have something that will hold these shopping bags conveniently for me while I clean up. Helps, helps keep my shop cleaner, more effortlessly, and easily than struggling with, with a bucket or a barrel or whatever, you know, or just trying to use a shopping bag without a holder. And I've got little points stuck around my shop to hang stuff like this. I've got a hanging hook for my shop brush drilled into my work barrel so I can just sort of hang it. 
the old adage goes, uh, every little bit helps in keeping my shop area clean that I can create and conceive to make it a little easier. As you can see, this work barrel is a mess too. Um, I'm not going to clean this up today. I just wanted my, my main work platform clean and in case I have to do some emergency repairs on anything. So I had a few moments. Trigger, I make a, a, another video. There's my work, uh, one of my, my folding work cart or my travel cart. I'm going to be using it tomorrow when I go shopping. I'll fold it all down. I drilled extra holes in the uh, positional, positionable uh, brackets. I still have to figure out a way to stow these two brackets when I fold it up. I need to incorporate some sort of quick attachment points so they'll attach to the cart itself without a lot of fuss or muss. That's something for me to accomplish another day. Little things like this is handy. You know, I can tie shopping bags to it or my thermos fits in the, the travel pocket knives or extra tie-down ropes. Very handy feature for something like that. Maybe the sun will pop through a little later. It's too cold to be out here for long. Hey, there goes some birds. I've had all sorts of birds here this morning. Blue jays and the little ones and bigger ones. There was a huge flock of some sort of other type of bird here this morning feeding. They were here early and heavy this morning when the uh, bird water was semi frozen over. They were gathered around it doing their thing. They're really appreciating the feed. This new type of bird that arrived in mass here the past few days, I noticed they, I thought they were bringing bits of moss with them to help melt the water. I noticed little bits of moss in the, on the frozen water that they'd drop and it would melt the water so they'd have little pools of water to drink. Pretty ingenious. Here's my windmill. Hey, the sun's popped out, that's good. there little guy how you doing uh oh they've been squabbling over feed there's my short video you all have a good day jason faulkner i just came up from my mailbox to get my dremel bit did my little bit of chores out here i think i'm going inside watching some tube and waiting for tomorrow I've been working pretty hard lately, and I don't, I don't mind pulling back a half a day. Leisure and about, thinking about frying some sausage for lunch. I got some cornbread. I don't want to eat too much sausage at once, but I haven't had any in a long time. Of course, I got to balance that with the bacon I've been eating. Don't want to overdose on greases and fats, but... That sausage was so good, and I got that cornbread. I think a little cheese and sausage and cornbread would be, be a good dinner. Have a good day. Bye.